Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we have sunrise and we also take it slow the last few days because we celebrate the completion of the installation of the irrigation system and uh, we still enjoy marvel in the time saving water saving it brings us and uh, usually when we take it slow some uh, thoughts come up first of all we just wander around on the farm aimlessly just to try to see what is, to see what is natural, what is nature, what is normal. Is nature normal? No. Here we have the first of our little ponds. It's dry, cracking. Is that normal? Yes, it's normal if the framework is that it doesn't rain in the Mediterranean climate in summer. And this is summer now, so therefore it doesn't rain, therefore it evaporates. Is it normal in the big picture of climate change? I think it's not a relevant question right now because uh, we have a handle on this one we can say it is summer therefore not rain it's normal second pond a little bit more water it is normal for a pond to hold water when there is water and it's normal for it to let it go under our circumstances, our clay soil, very clay soil, huge cracks when it dries out around the pond, and then obviously it loses a lot of water. That is normal. Nature, it's almost as if it's all the things we don't understand. We ask open-ended questions and we get a variety of answers. So it looks like normal is when we have a handle on it, on the concept with our minds and natural. If we still say, I don't know, let me enjoy it for what it is. Here on the uh, higher end of the erosion gully, one can see the type of cracks that appear. In this clay soil, when it dries out, this is an experiment. Uh, I will not put in irrigation system here. I want to see what happens with all the seeds I have placed in here. I have the pipe ready to irrigate, perhaps just the vetiver I have planted but the rest I will not water. This weekend we have the Romeria festival when the Catholic Church icon is moved from the church to the summer residence when she is carried shoulder high to spend time in the countryside for two months and then the Romeria is repeated 
a huge festival, cultural festival. Most people put on their traditional flamenco dresses. The women and the men their outfits with their hats. Let's see. We are going to join it. A brotherhood of all people. Beautiful. Here we have our almond trees and our asparagus. Asparagus is quite tall. It is normal to water them when it is dry in Mediterranean summer but it's actually natural to water them more when it's not dry because this is when they are growing. Soon in summer they will pause themselves, go dormant and uh, this is just the nature of it. They don't need that much water when they are dormant. They are not actively growing. So an interesting difference between normal and natural. But most people here want to be normal. Water them in summer, water them, water them. I'm not saying I should not water at all. I just say I should focus on the time when they are really growing, like now, and water them well. Today will be the first day of 30 degrees Celsius. It is uh, a high temperature, but the minimum temperatures are still low. It's uh, less than 15. For instance, cucumbers, they need 15 degrees or more to be able to germinate and grow and not to be in shock or stunted. So, uh, it's not summer really, even though the day temperatures are high-ish. It is the minimum temperature that counts. Therefore we still have plants in the hothouse, the greenhouse, because we cannot plant them out when the minimum temperatures are below 15 degrees Celsius. I will walk around with my secateurs and uh, decide what inner growth of these fruit trees, the inside area is excessive and remove that pre-summer pruning. I don't want them to put too much energy into creating some abundant growth. I want them in this wine glass shape. The inside is open and the growth is on the outside. This is the uh, mulberry, one year old. The question is usually uh, what is useful. We have also lots of plants on the farm that are not useful in the sense of fruit, but more on borders on the beauty. These are our plants, our roses. Are they useful? No, we don't sell them, we just enjoy what they hand us.
beautiful. Oleander. It invaded this whole area, but because it is a plant from this area, is not regarded as invasive. When you fly over this Andalusian countryside, see lots of lines this time of the year of these flowers, oleander flowers, and you know it is a creek, a, an occasional creek. So it's beautiful to identify the structures from the top. This year we will have lots and lots of sweet potatoes. We will give them away. And there's always this debate within us. Do we sell or do we give gifts? And uh, the debate is about do people appreciate when they get things for free or not? And uh, hopefully at our age we have learn to discriminate a bit about who can appreciate it. There are many proven cases where people were helped without being able to pay for it or work for it and it really changed their lives. So, let's be positive and hand a hand when we can. This is a beautiful world we live in. From this philosophical start of the day. Goodbye.